Cybersecurity labs are one of the best ways to get hands-on experience with real-world tools and concepts. But getting started with cybersecurity labs can be overwhelming and confusing, especially if you're brand new to cybersecurity. In this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how to build your own cybersecurity lab using Docker in a fast, easy, and beginner-friendly way. Plus, I'll walk you guys through how to secure your lab using Docker Scout and why Docker is such a powerful tool for learning cybersecurity. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make videos like this one every single week. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And today I'm working with Docker to show you guys exactly how to build your own lab on your own computer in order to practice hands-on cybersecurity skills and even get some experience using tools that are used in the real world through Kali Linux. Whether you're prepping for a job or just looking to get some more hands-on cybersecurity experience, this video is for you. So first off, let's talk about what exactly is Docker. Docker is a tool that lets you run lightweight, isolated environments called containers. Containers are pretty much mini virtual machines that are faster and use fewer resources. You can run tools, operating systems, and different services within these containers without impacting your main system. This makes Docker perfect for cybersecurity labs because you can simulate attacks and defenses safely and easily. So now let's talk about why you should build a cybersecurity lab and what do you really get out of it. So labs give you a safe and isolated environment to start learning and experimenting. You can test tools, try offensive and defensive tactics, and build real experience all without risking your own computer. It's one of the fastest ways to level up your skills in cybersecurity and also stand out to employers. You can explain the outcome of these labs and what you've learned and the skills that you've gained from them in your resume as well as job interviews. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into my computer right now and start building our Docker cybersecurity lab. All right guys, so welcome to the inside of my computer. The first thing you want to do is head over to docker.com. Now, now what you want to do is download Docker for whatever operating system you're running on. In my case, it's going to be Mac OS. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Mac Apple Silicon right here. It should show up right over here. And then once this is done downloading, I'm just going to go ahead and execute it and then drag it over to my applications and it should be ready to go from there. All right, so I have my Docker DMG file right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it right now. You can see that it has this right here populated. I'm gonna go ahead and drag the Docker icon into the applications folder. Docker is currently copying to applications. Should take maybe a few seconds. And then from there, it just show up right in my applications. I'm gonna go ahead and execute it right now and open it up. Let's go ahead and exit these windows. I'm gonna click on open. I'll hit allow. And now you can see, I'm gonna drag it over here. The Docker desktop application is opened up on my screen right here. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the next steps of our setup. So now that we have Docker up and running, the next step is going to be opening up your terminal or command prompt, depending on what operating system you're using, to start adding Kali Linux to our machine. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my terminal right over here. So before we go ahead and pull Kali Linux onto our machine, I want to go ahead and talk about what exactly is Kali Linux. For those of you who aren't familiar with Kali Linux, it's pretty much a Linux distribution that's built for penetration testing, ethical hacking, and digital forensics. It comes preloaded with a bunch of different tools that are used in the real world like Nmap, Wireshark, Metasploit, and many more. It's perfect for learning offensive security in a safe, controlled environment. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run this pull command. I'm gonna use Docker pull Kali Linux slash Kali rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and enter. I'm gonna hit allow over here and it's gonna pull the latest version of Kali Linux onto, um, onto my machine. Think of this like downloading a pre-made app environment specifically for cybersecurity testing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and execute this run command. So what that Docker run command is gonna do is pretty much going to create a new container from our image. The Kali Linux slash Kali rolling portion is gonna tell which image to use to launch this container. So this command pretty much launches a fully working Kali Linux terminal within our Docker. And we can start using it right now with no operating system download required Required. As you can see on my screen right here, the container is actually up and running. So you can see right here, we have the container ID of the Kali Linux image. And then also at the top right here, we have the root access at the same container ID right over here. So now let's go ahead and run some basic commands to get to know the environment that we're currently in. So first off, I'm gonna run a basic who am I command just to know what kind of user I am. So now let's type in who am I. So I'm the root user right now, as we could tell earlier from right over here. Let's go ahead and type in PWD, which stands for present working directory. And this will pretty much show the current directory path that I'm currently in right now. I'm gonna go ahead and type in ls and it'll show me all the files and directories that are currently available to me. And these are just some of the basic commands 
that you can use to get familiar with your environment, your user, things of that sort. I could go on forever when it comes to navigating Linux, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna keep it pretty beginner friendly and really basic. So the next thing I wanna do is maybe get some hands-on experience using a tool called Nmap. Nmap is a powerful network scanning tool that's pretty much used to discover devices, open ports, and any running services. It's commonly used by ethical hackers for reconnaissance purposes and just gathering information. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and install and run Nmap real quick with this command. So it's downloading Nmap right over here. Looks like it's good to go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and type in Nmap and then my current IP address just to see what it does. So you can see that it's confirmed that the host is up. It pinged almost immediately. So now that we can see the Nmap scan was done to this IP address in 0.06 seconds, it gives me a little bit more information about my current IP address as well. So this simulates running a basic scan on an IP address to discover any open ports and things of that sort. There's so many different tutorials when it comes to Nmap on the internet as well. So feel free to dive in further within Nmap. But one other thing I wanted to touch on is using Docker Scout to discover any vulnerabilities within our container right now. So let me show you guys exactly how to use Docker Scout to analyze your container for any potential vulnerabilities. And to give you guys a basic intro of Docker Scout, it'll pretty much scan my image for any known vulnerabilities and also offer any remediation suggestions. And you can access Docker Scout through this Docker desktop. This is going to be a great way for you to learn about security hygiene and container safety. So on the Docker desktop in front of us, I'm going to go to the left side and click on Docker Scout. And then from there, it's going to ask us which image to scan. I'm going to go ahead and click the Kali Linux image and then we'll click analyze image. From there, it'll take a few minutes to analyze our image and then it'll come back out with all the potential vulnerabilities. So right now we have zero vulnerabilities on our image right now and it classifies them as critical, high, medium, low and unspecified severity and we have zero. Let's go ahead and click on view packages and CVEs for more information. So on this left side right here, we have 10 layers onto our image and this is pretty much different layers that it took to build the image itself. Think of it as layers of a sandwich and toppings on a sandwich. And on the right side right here, we have 114 packages, which is pretty much all the different tools that came with Kali Linux. And Docker Scout scanned each one of them for any potential vulnerabilities. and looks like it came back with none. So why is Docker Scout helpful? So if you're using Docker to build your cybersecurity labs, tools like Docker Scout will help you build secure habits, especially early on in your career. It'll scan these containers automatically so you don't have to guess whether or not your lab is safe to use. And using tools like Docker Scout will teach you a lot when it comes to container safety and security. So you now have a cybersecurity lab that's up and running and available to you to start experimenting and learning different things. You can use this lab to start to get more familiar with Linux and how to navigate the terminal through Linux commands like we did before. You can start practicing basic bash scripting or automating simple tasks. And most importantly, you can start to get more hands on with real world cybersecurity tools through Kali Linux. For example, you can use tools like Nmap, Wireshark and Metasploit, just like we did earlier. And you can use these tools to learn exactly how attackers scan, analyze, and exploit different systems. And like I said before, you can learn how to scan and harden environments using industry tools like Docker Scout, like we did before. These Docker containers are so quick to spin up and delete, so it's perfect for testing, breaking, and starting fresh if you want to. While this video doesn't go fully in depth on these different labs, your environment right now is fully equipped with everything to start learning right away. And the basic commands and mini labs that I showed you earlier are some things that you can really build upon and build your confidence as a cybersecurity beginner. There are so many different labs, tutorials, and walkthroughs you can find online. You can search up beginner cybersecurity labs or Kali Linux beginner labs on YouTube, Google, Medium, or even Reddit, and you'll find some really good resources to walk you through these different cybersecurity labs. If I were to walk you through all of these different labs, this video would be way, way too long. So I want to go ahead and equip you guys with exactly what you need to get started with building your first cybersecurity labs. And I just wanted to show you guys a basic taste of what it's like to be inside of a lab and what it's like to build your own container using Docker. So here's why Docker matters in cybersecurity. So Docker isn't just a tool used by developers, it's also a powerful asset used by cybersecurity professionals. Within the cybersecurity industry, security teams use Docker to isolate vulnerable applications for 
safe testing, create repeatable environments for malware analysis and incident response, and deploy scalable tools like vulnerability scanners or SIM agents quickly. And for beginners, Docker makes it really easy to build and tear down lab environments without needing dual boot setups or multiple virtual machines. And you can easily experiment with offensive and defensive tools in an isolated environment. So Docker makes it really easy to practice real world skills in a fast, lightweight, and flexible environment. So whether you're studying for certifications or working in the field, learning more about Docker can give you a serious edge both in your productivity and security. If you found this video helpful, make sure to go ahead and drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I want to thank Docker for sponsoring today's video and supporting hands-on cybersecurity education. If you want to learn more about Docker and use it for yourself, I'll leave links to Docker down in the description box below. Make sure to go ahead and check them out and build your first cybersecurity lab. With that being said, guys, if you want some more short form content and lifestyle content, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Cyber with Ben. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.